Well, the first thing you need to do is to make sure your, uh, your tablet's plugged in properly. And I already talked about it. Always unlock your layer, okay? And yesterday I showed you how to use the magic wand tool to delete the background. I think that's a good idea. One of the things you have to problem solve for is when do I think I need to have a layer, okay? So this dude, for example, is a sphere. So you go to your tool and uh, where's my line tool? Is it over here? So I'm going to use the ellipse tool, okay? And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go black stroke and I'm going to go no fill, okay? So let's try that again. Black stroke and oops, I, don't, I want no fill and a black stroke, all right? And I'm going to make this thicker, like maybe I'm going to go like just to show you. And I'm going to draw a circle and it's kind of like this. You could do that. And kind of so it's not perfectly circular. It might make the character look more human or whatever. And then I'm going to let go. And if you're not happy with the thickness, when this pops up, you can still change it. Okay? So that's the background of my wrestler. I'm doing the wrestler. And one thing I showed you this yesterday, this is rasterized. You need to rasterize this, I mean. So what you can do is, you can do this with your pen. There's a little, there's two buttons. You press the top button. And, and if ever it's like being picky, just use the mouse. Okay, so I'll do it and I'm going to go rasterize layer because you, you don't want to work in vectors. And now what I'm going to do is draw the face. I'm going to create a new layer because remember I said problem solve. I hear people talking back there and I don't need competition. So please pay attention. So you're going to go get your pen. The hotkey is B. All right. And make sure that it's thick enough. So let's see here. It's the wrong color. So I'm going to go command Z. I'm going to press the D key. So I have black. I'm going to click the bracket key to make it bigger. And I'm now going to draw the head. Okay, I'm just, I'm going to go quick. You have a little more time than me. I'm going to shrink this and I'm going to make the eyes now. So this is going to be the eyes of my wrestler. I'm going to, he has a mask. I look at my reference image. And again, I'm allowed to be creative, but I'm going to decide to just, again, I'm going to go quick here and it may not be perfect. I'm going to change the way his mouth looks. And, you know, he looks angry. So maybe I'm going to even, like, make it look like this and add teeth. Like that. All right. So I'm happy with that for now. I'm going to say that's good enough. And I'm doing that on that layer. Now, I may want to draw on this layer. Or I may want to create another layer. So it depends how you decide to problem solve. I'm going to make a new layer. Let's just try that. And I'm going to merge all of these when I get to the coloring part. So that's really important. So I'm going to just create an arm. And I'm going to create a hand and make the hand like we're just, it's a cartoon. It's three. And I'm going to go with this. All right. And if I'm not happy with this, I can, yeah, this arm looks like it's going to be a little bit kind of odd, but I'm going to just leave it. And I'm going to show you something cool that you could use, by the way. You can go Command T. And maybe transform, and my computer is slow, so let's just go here. And you could command T, transform stuff. You know what? It's being slow, so I'm not even going to bother. The, probably the best thing to do is go get your eraser tool, erase it, and, you know, just continue from there. I am now going to go and create the legs. And I'm trying to go quick. I'm going to keep the legs on the same layer as the arms, but you could create a new layer. All right, so I'm going to go like this. I want big, thick, you know, like this guy's tough. All right. All right. And I'm going to add a belt. I'm going to keep it on the same layer for now. Doesn't matter. I'm going to show you something cool. On my background, I have like a star. Where can I get that without having to draw it? If you click here under the custom marker tool, you see, same place as you got the circle down here, there's a custom marker tool. And you can go get custom shapes. So, you know, maybe I want to put a heart because he's like a nice wrestler. Maybe I want more. So click over here and you can go get more. So I'm going to go like, I don't know, shapes. Let's see what comes up. It'll ask you to append it. Just click yes. So I'm going to, oh, there's a star. Boom. I'm going to put this star on his belt. Okay. And then I'm going to use the move tool maybe to place it. All right. 
and maybe I want to transform it because it's a little too big, but I'm not going to do that because we don't have time. So I'm going to go and draw another one here. So I'm going to click on the uh, custom shape tool again and put one in his forehead, a small one. And then I'm going to go back and press B for my brush. Okay. So okay, I'm pretty happy with this. If I look at the my reference image, the dude is like, you know, bare chested. So I'm going to have to, whoops, command Z. I'm going to have to merge all these in, in a second. Uh, I'm going to go back to the circle image and I'm going to give him his kind of, he has a chest. I'm going to go quick here. And in, in the image, it asks me to use the eraser tool to get rid of these lines. Well, not that one, command Z, but this line right here kind of looks odd a little bit. I, I just cut that off. It's really important that I close that off. Okay, so I'm going to press the B. And I'll show you another trick that you didn't know. You click this little, this is the zoom, and it's really fast. Okay? Whoops. Uh, command Z. And minus. Space bar. I like the space bar technique. If I can find it. If not, command minus. Oh, I'm hitting, I'm hitting control. It's Mac keyboard. Okay, so. I did undo that, so let's just uh, go get the eraser tool again. I want to. You want to clean this up, but you definitely want. I do. I want to merge these yet? No, because remember problem solving. I want to color the face before that, right? So I need to get. I think that's on this layer. I'm gonna go and erase this, or is it on this layer? So it takes a few seconds of problem solving. I'm gonna go back to this first circle. I'm gonna erase this. So that it looks a little more like the original. Okay, you see how this line's not closed? So it's really, really important that you close all your lines. I'm going to make this look roughly like the other one. I'm going to click the B key. And I'm going to close this right now. That's really critical. And maybe there's anything else I need to close. I do it now before I color it. So I'm going to go here. Okay, I'm going to like, I'm exaggerating a little bit so you can see it. And I'm going to go command minus. I'm almost done. So what I want to do is I'm going to color the face. Make sure I'm on the uh, pay bucket tool. I'm going to say, okay, he's got a red mask. And I'm going to click G. I'm on the wrong, I'm on the wrong layer. I just realized that. Where's his mask? It's on that layer. You, do, you have to do the face first because it'll cover the background. I'll just say, all right, this guy's pink. Go with pink. You know what? He's yellow. Good enough. We're going with it. Okay. So I did the face first. Now I'm going to go click here and click here. I right click on the mouse. I, I'm going to merge all the layers so that I can continue painting. So here's a trick. If I want to go get a color I've already done, click the I key. Okay. And then click the G key. Then this belt's going to be, you know, I'm going to, Blue. I don't know. Let's give him uh, blue. blue. Yeah, I, I think the pants are going to be yellow. Blue. So G. So that's his wrestling suit. I'm going to go with the yellow key here. No, nah, I changed my mind. Okay. And so, I don't know. I'm going to give him a pink star down here. Why not? And maybe he's got like black eyes. I don't know. You could put white eyes. He's like, that would be evil. I don't want him to be evil. He's kind of, I want to be a wrestler though. He's supposed to be tough. So, uh, G key. Okay, so there's my character. I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to upload this. Uh, get to work. Finish your grumpy 